What's up guys? Uh, today I'll be working on the excursion once again. Uh, this time I'm having a coolant leak. And it's running fine, temperatures are great. It doesn't leak coolant when it's driving or when it's warmed up. It's only leaking when I have driven it for the day and I let it cool down and it sits overnight. Uh, but if I leave it plugged in with the block heater cord, it doesn't leak whatsoever, no leaks at all. So only when the engine cools uh, is when the leak develops. And I'll show you here. That on the driveway is coolant, but that is from the other night. Uh, now last night, I didn't plug it in again. I let it sit and now it's not leaking for some reason. So I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on, but I'll show you here, if you can kind of see. Um, just on this cross member here, it was leaking straight down and then it was dripping. But I can kind of tell, I saw some antifreeze um, on the left side of the engine. Um, so I thought maybe this lower radiator hose was leaking up by the water pump connection. Maybe the hose clamp um, is leaking from the hot and cold expanding but it's too hard to tell up in there um, I did replace the water heater a year and a half ago with the bolt proof one uh, so maybe that hose connection is leaking that's what I'm hoping and I hope it's not a head gasket but just have to find out and see so what I did was I went to my local advanced auto parts and I picked up this power built cooling system tester kit. Uh, it runs, I think it was like 230 bucks for me to rent it. Um, but of course you get that back when you return it. So just kind of take a look here. And I've learned my lesson on these kits. You don't want to open it on the label side like this. For some reason you want to open it on this side. It's kind of weird how they did that, but I don't know. So let me open it here. And you got all your uh, cap adapters here. Uh, there's some more. And of course you got your pump uh, with your built-in gauge. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hook this up to it and uh, fill it up with some pressure. So let me pop the hood here. And as you can see, I have a little bit, I don't know if you can see, but some residue here um, of coolant, but I, uh, this is a new, brand new Motorcraft cap that I had put on, um, and then this reservoir I had replaced about a year ago because I had a small hairline crack in the bottom, and this isn't genuine Motorcraft, it's just the cheap doorman one I picked up at Advance. So, um, what you want to do first is take your cap off and uh, gonna come over, grab your pump, and you're going to grab, I believe it's number 26 is the cap adapter for the 6.0. want to do is take a cap adapter go ahead and screw that on get it as tight as you can because you don't want it to leak and what you want to do is uh, just take this it's like a quick connect Put that on there. Uh, this is your bleeder bleeder valve here. Um, as you can kind of see, this is at five pounds already for some reason. But uh, just take this and then you start pumping it. And you don't want to go more than what the cap says. And as you can see on this, 
the uh, maximum pressure for this cooling system is uh, 16 psi so you don't want to go over that so I'll keep pumping And then you want to just kind of listen for leaks. I don't hear any. And I'm just going to go up to uh, 15 psi just to be safe, just in case this gauge is off a little bit. And I'm just going to stay about right there. Eh, that's maybe at 14 psi. So I'll set that down. Uh, there we go. Let's see. 14. And just kind of sit here a minute to see if it's going to drop. And so far it seems to be holding pressure for now. So let me. Uh, crawl under here and see if we can see if it's leaking. And yep, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it just started dripping down. Uh, looks like right underneath the power steering pump there. You can kind of see it. Right there, you can see it's starting to come out. So it's working its way down. And let me see. I can see kind of in here, but not really. And I can see it dripping right there. And I can't tell if that's coming from the uh, cylinder head and the block there. So maybe my, hopefully my head gasket ain't going bad. Or if it's coming from one of these cooling lines from the Degas bottle. But it's dripping down there. So let me uh, take this stuff off of here and we'll try to get a closer look. So I uh, made some more room in here, got rid of the battery and air filter housing so we can get a better look. And uh, my gauge here is still reading 14 PSI, so it's not losing pressure at all. Um, so the leak's very minor. And at first, when I got this stuff off, I thought, oh crap, my head gasket's leaking. Um, you can kind of see under there that it's wet around the head. So I thought the head gasket was starting to fail. Um, and getting closer, my thermostat housing there, you can kind of see it's dripping right there at the back. So uh, it's dripping onto that fuel line, which runs right along the head. And then it goes down here and it's dripping down there. So that's kind of a relief that it's just the uh, thermostat housing. Now, I don't have time to get in it to it today, but I'm just gonna replace this whole uh, upper radiator hose while I'm in there. And um, it looks like this uh, hose here is leaking too, uh, going into the water pump kinda. Um, so what I'm gonna do is replace all these hoses here. And I'm going to also replace my uh, lower radiator hose while I got the cooling system drained and all that. Um, so yeah, that's a major relief that it's not the head gasket because I wasn't looking forward to digging into that. So uh, when I get some time next weekend, maybe I'll, I'll do a video on uh, replacing your thermostat and all your, uh, your upper and lower radiator hose as well as this one coming from the 
Degas bottle. And take a peek under here real quick. But you can see now it's really wet. So once I added pressure to that cooling system, it really started to leak here and it's all over the ground. But I also notice when I plug it in, um, I leave it plugged in and it gets really cold out. You can see on the ground here, I have coolant there as well. So I took a peek under here and can't really tell right now, but I've looking under here when it has been leaking and it looks like these rear heater lines, I, th I think these go to the, the heater core for the rear uh, heating system. Um, you can see it kind of leaks here. Now I tried putting on a different type hose clamp to see if that would work, because uh, here's the old one without taking the line off, but that didn't work. So I am also gonna be replacing these two hoses because they're kind of corroded and they're just falling apart as well. So I'm gonna be replacing that, but to do that, I'm gonna have to uh, take off the whole back panel inside uh, to access that, so. Watch more of my video doing that, and uh, it's also that was kind of somewhat review on on the uh, power built cooling system tester from Advanced Auto Parts. Um, it works very well, and uh, so I can take that back and get my two hundred thirty-seven dollars back. So that's it. Like I said, uh, like and share. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. Um, you can also subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more videos as well. And uh, just watch for that, uh, my upcoming video on replacing the thermostat and all these hoses and hopefully that seals the leak. Thanks.